In this video, you'll learn how to publish a workbook to a TM1 server. These workbooks can then be opened as web sheets in TM1 Web or Planning Analytics Workspace. In this demonstration, I'm using a workbook that contains an expiration view. It's important to note that list views and expiration views are published as static web sheets in TM1 Web and in Planning Analytics Workspace. Static web sheets do not maintain their connections with the TM1 server. A live web sheet, on the other hand, will maintain its connection to the TM1 server. This means that if the data on the TM1 server changes, a live web sheet will reflect these changes. Live web sheets are published from quick reports, custom reports, and dynamic reports. So we'll start off by converting the expiration view to one of these report types. Do this by clicking the Convert To icon. Then hover the cursor over the report type you want to convert the expiration view to. Now select the location where you want the converted report to appear. After the report has been converted, click the Publish icon. A new window opens allowing you to define which system, server, and folder you want to publish this workbook to. I'll publish this to Planning Analytics Workspace in the Smart Code server in the Reports folder. From here, you can define a new name for your workbook. And when you're done, click Publish. Note that any workbook you publish to a TM1 server is by default set as private and is only available to you. If you want to make the workbook available to others, you'll need to make the workbook public. In order to do this, first click the Publish icon. Now navigate to where you just published your workbook. You'll notice that the workbook has an orange dot. This indicates that the workbook is private. Right-click the workbook, and then click Make Public. The workbook is now public. If you want to make a workbook private, simply right-click a public workbook and select Make Private. If your workbook contains action buttons, you might notice that the Publish button isn't available. In order to publish books containing action buttons, you'll first need to save them locally as an XLSM file. So to do this, I'll click the File tab, then Save As. I'll save this on my desktop. Then I'll give this book a name. And then for the file type, I'll select Excel Macro Enabled Workbook. And then click Save. As we can see, the Publish button is now available, and I can now publish it as I normally would. I'll publish this book to Planning Sample and in the Planning Sample folder. And then I'll make it public. Now if I go into Planning Analytics Workspace and navigate to the system and server that I published my workbook to, we can see that my workbook is there. And if I open it up, we can view the workbook on Planning Analytics Workspace along with its action buttons. And that's it. That's how we publish workbooks in IBM Planning Analytics for Microsoft Excel.